Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today I'm going to go over what's uh, in the 14 million download campaign. It's actually been a while since I've done one of these videos, so if you end up liking it, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Um, so obviously this is going to be the return of uh, Bride Nero. I'll get into her when she shows up on here, but that's basically the main draw here. But there is another extremely good thing here. Uh, it's the daily login, which begins on 6.16, which should be tomorrow, not today. So not this login, the next one, I think. Actually, I don't know, maybe time zones are a bit funky. Um, but either way, day one, you get Blaze of Wisdoms, you get uh, the SR version, 10 of them on day one, 10 million QP on day two, um, 10 golden fruit, 10 silver fruit on day three, day four, the Silver Foes, uh, 10 HP in attack, and on day 5 you get 10 summon tickets, and those 10 summon tickets um, are what you want, especially if you're going for Arjuna Altar. I think his banner should still be up by the time that if you start getting your login from now, you should have enough to have one final multi for Arjuna Altar if you still have not gotten him, or you're someone who's still going for... I don't know, trying to get an MP5 or something. I don't know. Whatever your business is, if you still want to summon for Arjun, maybe you want Ash and you don't have Ash. Who knows? Um, the, ten, the 10 tickets will come in pretty clutch for you. Um, I would, as always, suggest kind of saving them if you're not someone who, I guess, cares about Arjun Older, which seems kind of silly because he's so good. Um, only because Anniversary... Um, 10 tickets turn into 11 summons, but you know, do whatever you feel is right. Um, I'll be saving mine, but I've been saving mine, so it's up to the person how they want to uh, roll with it. But if you want one more other chance at Arjuna Altar, do, there you go, boom. Uh, daily, daily Ember Gathering quests, AP cost is half off. Um, this is going to last, I guess, the entire time the campaign is there. As, as said, the Daily Ember Farming is now half cost. Uh, next. So we have missions. For a limited time, uh, the 14 million download missions are added to the limited time tab on the master missions. Completing all missions, you'll get 350 mana prisms and one rare mana prism. This can also be pretty good if you don't have, um, the Bella Lisa yet. I think, um, this will give you a decent chunk of mana prisms to help with that, because it sure does cost a lot. So, mission period, it goes it's from 616 to the 23rd. Um, the mission one is acquire three white colored items uh, through battle. Mission uh, two is acquire three gems or stone items through battle. The, the next one is defeat, what is it, nine divine servants? Three, much less. And then it's three Roman servants for the next mission. Defeat ten servants of luck A plus or higher. Uh, defeat three loved one servants. Clear free quests in the castle field three times. And then finally complete all missions and you'll get the rare mana prisms. Pretty easy, I would say. Um, you could probably complete these all in a single day. Again, it, does it say here if we get them all at the same time or if it's just going to be for one a day? I don't think it's one a day, so you can just get them all. Yeah, you should be able to do these. This is really not that difficult. So, make sure to get your 350 mana prisms and your one rare mana prism. Friend points gathered for all quests, limited time. Get more of that. Two chance of super and great success of, uh, for servants and C enhancements, which is nice. QP cost uh, for half servants and CE enhancements, limited time. Present box inventory increase. Ooh, this is what I need. <laughs> Because the present box will be expanded 50 slots for all masters, the expansion will increase the present box capacity from 300 slots to 350. Really only matters for me during the lotto, but if you're one of those people that hides all their goodies until the day comes, that will also help you out. Um, limited items and exchange rare mana prisms. Let's see, limited edition code remover, crystallized lore, uh, hero foe, four star, one and HP foe as well, and 20,000 friend points. You can get that. Mm, not amazing. When they don't include tickets, I always feel like these style of things aren't the greatest, but th that's alright. It's alright for what's being offered. Let me see. 
Oh, you know, it's all rare mana prism stuff too, so uh, not for me. Fourth million download commemorative fate Excella link quest. Um, beat that link and you'll get this CE, which is really just for box space, but it's a very nice CE from what it looks like. The only way you're going to be able to get this if you are a fan of Fate Extella Link and you wanted this CE, well congratulations, this is your chance. Um, stop one where prison, I guess this is after it's added to it, so if you miss it then you'll need three mana prisms to get one of them, so there you go. And then this is the actual banner, which will have uh, Bride Nero on it, regular Nero, uh, Caesar, and Roma, three star Lancer. Huh, should you summon on this banner? Uh, if you're a fan of Nero, you should absolutely summon on these banners. Bride Nero is fantastic. Um, and regular Nero get is also very good and also gets nonstop costumes. <laughs> To an annoying degree, I would say, even as someone who loves Nero and gladly uses all her costumes. Um, so if you want a unit that's just going to constantly get support, let me tell you right now, 4-star Nero will constantly get support. Both of them are arts, so currently in the meta they're in a little bit of a weird position, but basically when Castoria comes out in a year, they're going to be in higher demand for you because they're art servants and now arts meta is here. But even without Arts Meta, Bride Nero is still extremely good. She's used for other purposes. Her buff to her, I believe it's the second skill. It's already very good because it gives MP gain, but later on it also gives uh, an MP charge. And it can be used in a variety of ways. The most famous of ways is, of course, using it for the Chen Gong system, which is powering up Chen Gong and then launching a bunch of servants and. <laughs> silly business from there on in, but um, you don't have to always kill all your servants to Shen, Shen Gon. Uh, they can be perfectly fine without it. And I think Nero, Bride Nero I think is an extremely good unit that I don't really see that much talked about I feel, except for again Chen Gong stuff. Um, she's definitely low-key in terms of some of the better there's some units like for example arjuna altar who is so good you can't deny it like there's no one denying that arjuna altar is bad you might not like his design or berserkers but he's extremely powerful and he's extremely good um merlin for example uh extremely good no one will really debate you on that um but there are certain subtitle units who are extremely good but just no one talks about and i think like bride nero is one of them and i think the reason people don't want to talk about her is because they don't want to actually summon for her i think that's the main problem is that her banners usually aren't the greatest like i haven't mentioned any of these ce's because most of these ce's are not good <laughs> the ones that are featured are not very good um the three stars that are featured on it aren't limited in some way so you know, you're gonna get a bunch of Caesar and you're gonna get a bunch of Romo whenever you can. Um, Storylock Nero is of course extremely good, but is she good enough to make you basically forget everything and go for it? Especially with uh, Mao Nobu coming up pretty soon, and then after Mao Nobu, the anniversary starts to kick off. And then from anniversary, we're rolling into. Um, uh, we're rolling into everything. We're running into swimsuit units, and then we're eventually going for uh, Space Ishtar, and then near Christmas time we got Saber Ostolfo, and then past Saber Ostolfo we've got freaking uh, uh, Super Orion, and then after Super Orion we have the New Year's unit, which is the, the Foreigner Girl. Here's a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff coming forward, so. I think it's the Foreigner Girl, or am I thinking it's Psy? No, Sai is Valentine's Day because she goes with um, Murasaki. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's basically this campaign. That's my thoughts on it. I, if you don't summon on this, I understand. There's obviously some bigger fish to fry. But if you're a fan of Nero and you like Nero and you want to give her a shot, I would say you're definitely... It's not just blind waifu love at that point. I still say that both Neros are extremely solid. I want to say every single Nero in the game is extremely solid if you have them. Caster 1 is one of the better AoE caster units. Bride is Bride, and she's single target, so she's, she has a different function from the regular Nero. Regular Nero, funny enough, um, regular Nero is a, an AoE saber with ways to survive the battle, but she doesn't have a single target attack, so she's not as good as someone like Ku, for example. But she's still extremely solid. And then you have um, Bride Nero, who has the 
amazing support capabilities, and then just an amazing single target attack. <laughs> Doesn't really fit the, the skills they gave her, but whatever. So yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.